guys. Welcome to the energy update for Monday, March 18th and Tuesday, March 19th. Um, we are going to start by looking at Monday. Pisces season has been really, really hard on me, you guys, like the uh, migraines that I've had in the last couple of weeks are just insane. Like I can't, I don't even, I can't even explain them. They've just been horrible. So I apologize for <clears throat> being late with getting these out to you. Um, we're waking up this Monday with the moon in Cancer. So on this moon day, happy moon day, uh, we have the moon in Cancer trine Saturn earlier this morning, and then we will have a square to uh, Mercury and a sextile to Jupiter all in just this morning. And then later on, as we get closer to the afternoon, we'll see that square to Mercury turn into the square to the nodes. And then later on in the day, we will see the moon square Chiron and then sextile Uranus later today. Um, tomorrow we will, um, is airy season. So with this Cancer moon today, it might, feel a little aggressive. It might be a little bit aggro um, this morning and aggressive with this Cancer Moon. That's like the really the only way that I can say Monday is probably going to be kind of cranky, to be quite honest, with all these squares happening. Um, the Mercury conjunct North Node, be very careful about the things that you're saying today. Be, you know, pay attention to how you're advocating for yourself right now. Um, we don't want to fall into like the victim mentality um, because that can easily be something that happens on a day like today, um, especially with this square to Chiron, we can, um, our emotions can kind of overtake the logical, right? Like feeling, feeling everything pretty deeply can overtake the logical. So really paying attention to the energy that you're putting out for today. Um, it's probably going to be really advantageous for you being really discerning um, and slowing down, you know, like if you are waking up today and you got to go, 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 go. You feel like you have to like rush forward to do things, kind of take a breath and center yourself before you rush into getting anything, getting through anything. Um, for today. Overnight, when we have the sextile to Uranus, might have some pretty good dreams. And then the moon kind of just floats overnight. And then we'll wake up to a trine to Neptune on Tuesday. Um, Neptune has really been keeping us pretty sleepy during this Pisces season. It really does, like with Neptune being in Pisces every year for the last, since like 2012, I guess. So for the last 12 years, I, uh, Neptune has been in Pisces and um, heal, there's been a lot of healing. There's been a lot of spiritual awakenings happening with this. And this can often bring some pretty emotional stuff um, up as well as we are recognizing the things that we kind of have to let go of. Neptune is loss right? Neptune is kind of a void. It's boundless. And it can often be like where wherever Neptune is transiting in our chart, this is where we have found loss in our life. And then where we found loss, we've also found kind of a spiritual blanket, if you will, in a way, kind of covering that loss and, and um, gaining more of a connection to the ethereal world. So Wednesday morning or Tuesday morning is going to be a little bit um, emotional, a little bit more emotional. Uh, we see Mercury has now passed the North Node. And so the Cancer moon will try Neptune and then the moon will try the sun. Also at 29 degrees. So the sun is going to be at 29 degrees Pisces all day on Tuesday. Um, which is like literally the very last degree of the Zodiac. 
so we are ending this zodiac year on Tuesday all day, and the, the sun will ingress Aries um, later on in the evening. We do have a moon ingress to Leo, like in the afternoon, and will be a direct opposition to Pluto after that, right after trying that sun. We'll have the moon in Gresselio opposite Pluto. And then the moon's going to be besieged all day long. Uh, and that means that this Pluto, this opposition, moon opposition, Pluto energy on Tuesday is going to be that effect all day long. We're going to be feeling that all day. Um, and that can, this can lead into arguments. Any kind of ego attachments that you might have, especially the ego attachments that you have to yourself, any kind of beliefs that you have that you feel like you have to stand up for. Um, when we have an emotional opposition to Pluto like this, you can really find out what it is that, how you are opposing yourself in really big ways, how you can uh, see how you're fighting against yourself. Most of the time when you're fighting inside of you, like inward, that it's going to start reflecting on the outside in huge ways, in really, really big ways. Um, so pay attention to that. What is it that you're opposing? What is it that you're arguing against? What is it that you're fighting on Tuesday? And so this is like really late in the evening. We're going to see this um, ingress to the sun, ingress to Aries. Here we are. So about 9.30 mountain time, so like 11.30, I mean, it's really late. And then Wednesday morning, um, we'll wake up to that Aries sun. This Leo moon is not going to be interacting with anything until we get to like later on into Wednesday. Look at this, like Wednesday afternoon, nothing's going on. Wednesday afternoon with the moon, nothing is going on. But we will see on Wednesday, we will see the sun sextile Pluto. So we'll talk about that a little bit more when we get to Wednesday. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys how, so that's how Leo moons are going to be for a little while until we get further into, um, the seasons right and you know until we get like with airy season we'll see the leo moon trying some of the planets but that leo moon being besieged by pluto has that's happened you know that we've been through that transit a couple of times and it's pretty it's pretty aggressive it's kind of aggro um and i think it's just because everybody wants to see change right now there's so it, you know, there's, everything's really confusing in during Pisces season when we're all sort of like healing and we're getting ready for the astrological new year, the spring equinox is tomorrow night and it'll, we'll, you know, that's when we have that equal, we start having, we have that equal day and night when the sun moves into Aries and then we start gaining daylight after that. So let's get an Oracle card. Ooh, grounding, grounding, grounding. This is absolutely necessary. Oracle card for Monday and Tuesday. Go deep and explore your roots. So really, really necessary to get grounded on Monday and Tuesday. Um, intentional grounding, like really making sure that you're intentionally grounding yourself. And um, not just like, go put your feet on the dirt kind of grounding. Like, um, spending like a good five to 10 minutes in silence and, and inward and listening to the things that are going on inside of your mind. And if there's anything that needs to change, if there's any kind of messages you're getting in your mind that could be negative, this is that time to ground yourself and have those, have those switch up on you into a more positive message. So thanks for being patient with me, you guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you soon. Bye.